Hi guys, Mikko here. Today we are going to check out some RVs. They're showing off the latest models. It needs to be said that I'm not going to buy the car today and I'm not going to buy a brand new car. I'm aiming for something like 10 years old. And also my current plan is that after my apartment is sold, I will fly to Germany and buy the car from there because the selection is much bigger and the prices are much lower. But I'm excited to see what's available, what do the latest models look like and they of course they also have their used cars selection available there. It's always interesting to have a chat with the salesman, <laughs> so let's go. What am I looking for in a car? I want it to have a big trunk in the back because I'm going to haul a lot of stuff. Skateboards, snowboard, surfboard, all kinds of toys. So I want a lot of storage space. Second of all, I want the heating to be ALDE, which works with the same principle as the radiator in your home. There's hot liquid in pipes going around the vehicle, instead of TRUMAK, which just blows hot air and makes the air very dry. I want the car to be warm even on cold, harsh winters. I want to spend my winters in the Alps for the most part, so it needs to be for around the year comfortable living. Now the issue is that these two features rarely go together. The big storage space creates this issue that the bed is really high, but I'm very confident in my climbing skills. This feels very cozy. There's a window on the roof, there's windows on both sides. You can get these completely dark. There's storage space. There's these cute little shelves. This is a pretty normal setup that you have the stall and the sink under these. Many RVs have this solution that they have an extra bed here. Let's just say that this is not a deal breaker for me, but I would rather have the car without one of these. This is really cool. This has extra seat belts here, so I can have more hitchhikers. And this dining room setup really easily transforms for a big group of people, so this is a really nice feature. I can easily see myself buying this car. It's in the right price range, but it has the huge deal breaker of having the wrong kind of heating system, so... I'm so goddamn happy I came here. I learned so much stuff. First of all, it's really difficult to find the kind of car I'm looking for, except there's a cheat code. The main issue is the weight of the car. It can only be 3,500 kilos and still be driven with a normal driver's license. And on that weight, it's difficult to find the car that I want. But if I get an upgrade to my driver's license, which I learned today is about six or 700 euros plus four hours of driving and theory, of course I'm going to get myself a new driver's license. If I'm going to invest tens of thousands of euros in the car, I'm sure I can invest 600 euros in the driver's license so I can get the car I want. Oh my god, I'm so happy I came here. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was very fun to shoot somewhere else besides my kitchen. Please sure to subscribe to the channel and see you on Wednesday.